I can smell it. Vending machines have come a long way. And today, we have vending machines that make pizza. Now, you're probably wondering, how good can vending machine pizza actually be? Well, we're going to find out today. Hello, I'm Vince, and I'm passionate about trying new foods. Today, I set out to try a brand new vending machine in Toronto that serves pizza. Now, I was having a hard time finding this vending machine, so I went into the library to get some Wi-Fi, and I saw this. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, so pay attention to the computer and leave me the fuck alone. So that was just the tail end of it. I couldn't. Ca I I wish I had my phone on when he first started because he was going ballistic. He was going crazy. I guess someone was staring at him. That was the problem. pizza place they say oh it's going to be ready in about 15 minutes or so this is ready in three minutes i think that's amazing oh, it looks pretty good i was not cut the pizza was uncircumcised i wasn't expecting that unless you are walking around with a pizza cutter or you're walking around with your mom and she's got scissors in her purse this poses a problem. <laughs> okay. Like, how are you going to eat this thing? You have to eat it like a Sicilian pizza monster, just the whole thing. You know what I mean? Well, I'm in the middle of the city and I don't have a pizza slicer. Now, one thing about this that sucks is that there's nowhere to take it. Where do you take this pizza to eat it? I mean, there's public benches, but then you open it up and it's not even cut. So I'm gonna have to eat this like a taco or something. Like, like we'd wanna share this with like two or three people. Like everybody just grabs a piece and just yanks on it. I mean, yeah, if you live in the area, you could take that and bring it up, but that's the only case. I know it's just a vending machine, but the way you get a product matters. You know what I mean? The, the service element, like you could take a pizza, the worst pizza shop in your, think right now, do you have a really bad pizza shop in your city or your town that you just, everybody knows it sucks. You just, you only go there if you have like $2 in your pocket, like it's a shitty place. Take that pizza and put me in a hot tub and the water is on my, just relaxing my neck and I've got a Vanka hump a lot. And she's, She's giving me a massage, and then there's another sexy model in there, and she's cut cuts the pizza, and she just feeds me with a fork. I mean, you could take that pizza, and it would be shitty pizza, but I would be loving that, okay? The experience is important. This vending machine should maybe start selling slices. That would be a lot more practical. Just load the thing up with slices. I don't know how this machine works, but if they could just sell individual slices that would be amazing and uh or figure out a way to slice this pizza into eight into six so you could share it with people and you can eat it on the go maybe you're a construction guy you're in a truck or maybe you're just someone in a car and you pull up you park for a second you, you grab it, you put it in your car, and you want to eat on your way home. Maybe you're a commuter. You know what I mean? There's a lot. Of, just having it sliced, I'm, I'm focusing on this, but it's a big problem not having it sliced. Well, there's a lineup then. 
You're just completely screwed, that's what I think. It takes three minutes to process the thing and you can't make another order if it's cooking this pizza. Now I got the goat cheese honey pizza. There's two main flavors, goat cheese and honey. So I just ripped this piece off. I'm gonna have to try like that. The honey was amazing. Imagine you are a bear and you take a bite out of a beehive and all the honey's cut. That's like, I had a lot of honey. Everybody, if you're liking this video, make sure to subscribe and even better, share it with someone who likes food. If you know someone who's a big eater, who likes the food, who likes to go out and try new things, send them this video or send them to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, then the goat cheese just hits you sideways. We'll have to ask one of these construction guys over here if I can use one of their saws to cut this thing. But it's got this earthy tanginess to it that's just so delicious. It works up the appetite engines and it just makes me salivate. I love the flavor. And it's nice to switch it up, isn't it? Like, you know, mozzarella, 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 every day the same shit. Let's do something new. Let's have some goat cheese. Let's have some, some other types of cheese. The honey and the goat cheese just collide into a heart. It's a beautiful combination and it really made this pizza. The dough itself, I did not think was that great. It, the flavor was okay. It was okay. It wasn't the best, but the problem with it was it was just rubbery. It had this rubberiness to it, this chewiness that you felt like you were chewing on a tire, okay? My jaw hurt. I think my jaw would start to grow muscles. People ask me, why do I look like this? It's because I eat this vending machine pizza. It's so chewy that it makes my jaw muscle on this side really strong. It's not the best pizza I've had in, in the world. But it's actually, the funny thing is, for just being in a vending machine, it's actually better than real, like a real place I've been to. Like, it's better than a lot of pizza shops out there. One great thing about this is you don't have to talk to anybody. So if you have social anxiety, you don't have to feel anxious. You can just go to your vending machine, get your pizza, and go home. Going into this, I wasn't expecting much. You're, you're eating out of a freaking machine here. I was pleasantly surprised. Wait, yeah, it wasn't cut. Yes, it was chewy. Yes, it... That's about it. That's really about it. It was a pretty good pizza for being in a vending machine. And I would get it again. I want to try the other flavors. I'm mean, like vending machine world. I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. If you've watched this far, you must like pizza, okay? So definitely check out this other video I did. If you haven't seen it, I eat General Tao chicken pizza. Yeah, it's a Chinese food fusion pizza place. They do Chinese food pizza. You gotta check it out. I'll see you over there.